I remember in high school coming here when my parents got divorced just to get away. And there was another time that I was here when I was about 12. My dad hooked a huge fish right here. I could see him so clearly standing right there wearing his white t-shirt. But now that I'm here, it seems even more real. He thought it was a big halibut, but it turned out to be a big stingray. He just broke it off. He was using 20 pound test too. Good times, man. Playing here as a kid, not a care in the world. You know, it's interesting how people go to a lot of the same places to either mourn or celebrate or just come out for the day and not even think anything of it. My friends, let me welcome you to the shittiest place on earth. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell bad at all. But maybe that's that old COVID kicking back in. Well, now that I'm getting settled in, turns out this quarter inch layer of poop, it does have a smell to it. So I'm gonna set up a platform so my backpack doesn't turn white. Got the gaff with me today. And that means we're going after big fish. Got an extra four feet so I don't have to bend down and slip and fall on the rocks. How we're gonna to try to catch that big fish is with the bobber rig. If this is successful and you wanna learn how to rig it, you can go to my website, fishermanslife.net, and there's a detailed explanation how to rig this and also how to buy it. I've also got my crab snare rod here. We're gonna be trying to get red rock crab, not Dungeness because that opens on the first Saturday of November. Today, it's not the opening day yet. So red rock crab, that's the main goal. Any fish? It's just a bonus. For the crab snare, I was going to do herring and squid, but it looks like the snare is small enough where I don't need both of them. I'll just shove in this piece of squid, cast it real close, and it shouldn't take long for a rock crab to come out and try to eat. I'm going to cast out relatively close, no need to go far, and I'm going in the harbor side. It's rocky all around, so totally should be a rock crab that'll come out and try to eat this. Main target is the big six or seven inch red rock crab. So I've been fishing for about three trips with this bobber setup, and I'm looking at my braided line, it's kind of frayed. So I'm gonna move the bobber stoppers up and cut off about 10 feet, just make sure all that braid is fresh. But you know something silly? Usually I have that dull, tiny knife. Well today, I forgot the knife completely, and I don't know how to cut this braided line. Luckily, I found this lighter, <laughs> a rusted old lighter, and that should do the trick. Yeah, so we gotta to improvise today. I don't know how I'm going to cut a fish with a lighter, but at least this will cut the line. I don't even have time to set up the bobber rig and it's already time to check the snare. Here we go. First pull. We're not even going to play around with it. We're just going to pull it in. Crab? Feels kind of heavy, but it's been so long. Little crab. I mean, that's... Oh gonna say that's a keeper it was a female big crab too but not what we want we want a bigger male red rock crab but look you don't even have to leave it more than a couple minutes especially for rock crab limit for rock crab is 35 and you can catch them and fish for them all year for dungeness the limit is 10 and you can only fish for them from November to June Got the bobber set up. It's set to about 16 feet from the bottom hook to the bobber stopper. And I tied on a dropper loop with a piece of squid on it. There might be some smaller rockfish suspended and below the herring, you already know. Three quarter ounce bullet weight. It's cast out, let's see what happens. Oh, let me get my gaff first. Gotta have my landing tool nearby. Right there. All right, let's see if anybody wants to come out and play. That's great, the squid and the herring stayed apart from the bobber, so no need to worry about it getting tangled. Now we're just gonna do the slow retrieve, slow retrieve back. Man, I forgot my hat, forgot everything today. I thought I was prepared. Don't even have my sunglasses. 
So as I retrieve, maybe I'll just cover my eyes. So at least I could block 50% of the time. This is the last pull from inside the harbor. See what we got. Nothing. Damn. Surprising. Well, one of the herring I was using for fishing, it's got all tore up. So I'm going to shove that in here. I think the herring has a lot more scent. So with a herring and a squid, I don't think the crab will be able to resist. And look, something was biting it because that thing right there on the snare is all messed up. It just didn't get in the loops. All right, let's go a little bit deeper. To the end. I'm on my way. I wish I didn't have to do it, but I'm going to give myself the best opportunity. Check out the new foghorn. They completely demolished the old one and made this new foghorn. The other one used to be able to climb inside and there was a place for someone to stay. But yeah, this one uh, looks a lot better. Herring and squid going in. It's a little wavy over here. So I'm gonna let the waves give the bait some action. I got this thing set to 25 feet and this bobber's on its last leg, but it's going down 25 feet. Fish on, crab on, feels like it. Crab, is it a male? It is. Male, red rock crab, keeper too. We're gonna keep it. Not the seven inch I wanted, but it's a red rock crab nonetheless. God, it's so sludgy out here. I don't even want to touch anything. I've been gone for about 10 minutes. Let's see if we got anything. We do. We do. Feels good. As long as you keep catching on the snare, it'll stay on. All right, this one feels really good. What is it? Over the rocks. Gosh, it's so deep there. Tell me it's a nice big red rock crab. It's a nice crab. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. This is exactly what I was going for. A giant red rock crab. Woo, got him. Exactly what I wanted for. That's a male too. You see that apron, that triangle thing right in the middle? It goes straight up and it's kind of uh, pointed straight. It's not wide. Red rock crab. That's going to be a good meal now. Just don't snap my nose off. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm getting hungry already. Dude, I'm so happy that I came out to the end. Two rock crab, two casts. Now let's get one more and I'll be happy with crab, but it, top it off would be amazing to get a fish too. And when I cook, I'm gonna get away from this loud horn. So bear with me. Man, he barely even fits in here. Barely even fits in here. Look. Oh, they're fighting, they're fighting. That's fine with me. All right, here we go again. Let's go three for three on the end of the jetty. See if we can. Yep, got another one. So you can find the spot. You can get tons of rock crab. You could keep the female rock crab also if you wanted to. This one doesn't feel as big, but it's a, a crab. See what we got, nice little place to land it to. And there it is, another keeper rock crab. It is kind of small though, but it is a keeper. If he doesn't pinch me, I'll let him go. Not sure what it is, but I think they just molted. Kind of cute, huh? Not much meat in this one, for sure, so let him go. Moral of the story, if you come out here to the Half Moon Bay Jetty, bring your crab snares, most likely you can get some rock crab. Bring your fishing rod, and you might get lucky for fish, but don't count on it. Come out here, get yourself some rock crab or Dungeness if the season is open. Now let's go eat. I just walked all the way over there, all the way over here, and now, I'm looking at this gigantic cliff with a lot of loose rocks. I probably shouldn't stay so close to it. 
First thing I'm gonna do with these crabs is just clean them up, take the shells off, and then we'll be ready to cook. All right, we're gonna get some water here, clean up these crab. Let's see if I can get some over here somehow without falling in. Uh, let's see if this is gonna be possible. It's just like that. That'll be good. It's enough to clean them. All right, look at that beautiful, huge rock crab with those giant meaty claws. This one looks good too. Only has one claw though. Got enough meat for a meal, definitely. Keep wash off my hands too, just in case I touched any of that stuff out there on the rocks. Now we got a good amount of water here. Let's take these shells off. I'm gonna try to keep all the sand away. And start off with this little one here. Easy peasy, we're just gonna rip off the top shell. Ooh, ooh, he's trying to grab me. I better be careful. I better hold him from the claw here. And I should be able to just, oh, well, there's one claw. We're gonna eat that. And I wanna cook the body up too. Man, he's a tough crab. Here's a trick. If you can't get that apron, you can rip off another leg and just use that leg to pull that apron off. Okay, now that apron coming off, that'll help get the carapace off, which is the top shell. Okay, we won't be needing that. Now there's really not that much meat on these smaller rock crabs, but there's enough, especially to get some flavor. And there is a good amount of meat in this body section, not necessarily in the legs. Now I'm taking off all these lady fingers here, which are the gills of the crab taking off the mouth, and then I'm gonna split it in half. And shake out that poop. Okay, that one is good to go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this big old rock crab here. Just rip off that. Get the apron out also. Apron off, lady fingers off. And this is the same process you would do for basically any crab, at least out here on the west coast. I don't know about the blue crab, but basically just like that. And then I like to split them in half. They say that these rock crab have more domoic acid than the other crab. Haven't really heard anything about domoic acid recently. Hopefully there's no issues with that. And I'll keep that for a souvenir. That'll be a good memory. Now that we're all cleaned up, we're gonna do something that you've probably never seen before. I would bet money on it that the majority of people have never tried this nor seen it. And that is taking a two pound brick of butter, boiling it, just like that. We're gonna get this butter, heat it up. We're just gonna melt it. You know, probably the most common way to cook your crab is to boil it or steam it. Why not boil it in butter? You're gonna dip it in butter anyway. So let's get all this heated up. The only other time that I've seen someone do this is when I did it after catching an eel. And man, that eel was delicious, but I didn't add any seasoning. Today, I got that slap you mama and also got a bunch of garlic powder. We're gonna dump that into the butter. But before we do that and before we dump the crab into the butter, we're gonna crack these claws so some of that flavor can get into the meat. Crack this one. That one's nice and cracked. Turn up the heat. Now would you call this deep frying or just boiling? I don't think the butter gets hot enough to deep fry, but look at that. That's a damn rolling boil right there. And before I add the crab, I'm gonna dump some of the seasoning in there. Just add a little more flavor. Kind of like a crab boil. We won't do too much because that stuff is super salty. But we're gonna do that and then you know crab has got to have the garlic. So a bunch of garlic powder here. Just dump all that in there. This is a interesting mix. Mix all that around. All that butter, get that all melted. I think we're good to go. Let's dump the crab in. Very nice rolling boil. Boom, one crab leg. Oh yeah, here goes. Oh yeah. Oh dude, this is gonna be delicious, I bet you. 
All right, there we go. Now we wait. Now while we wait for that, I'm going to get this ramen ready to go. Look at that. How good does that look? Crab boiled in butter. Never have I ever thought of that. That should be good. Now we add the oils. I should replace this oil with avocado oil, actually. Why eat the bad oil when I can eat the good oil? A bit of the hot sauce. I'm not quite sure what this black sauce is. I know it's not soy sauce. And then we got the seasoning and the onion. And that's what those ramen noodles look like after they've been seasoned. It smells so good. Some people were talking bad about my chopstick skills last time, so I got these. Put your fingers in there, and I guess that's the real way to do it. So I'll, I'll be practicing, okay? These are the pororo ones. Noodles are good. Hoping this crab has cooled down enough. Let's break the shell off and see if it... Oh, oh. Oh. Woo. Oh, you already know crab is so good with butter. Look at that gigantic rock crab claw. Boiled in butter. Dipped in two pounds of butter. Totally unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. But those seasonings the slappy mama and the garlic powder really is a nice touch plus the butter you can't go wrong with butter the lowly rock crab comes through today mm, mm -mm. bro that extra little spice is so good come out here get your own you know where i am pillar point rock crab open all year dungeness crab starts probably when this video is out this for you dad and this for you mom and this for all the places like this around the world that hold these memories like a time capsule <laughs>